Welcome to Electro Online. Can you believe that people used to live in caves that are no longer accessible because the ocean levels have risen past the point where you can enter the cave? Such a cave was found in 1991. It's called the Cave of Kosker and it's located on the Mediterranean coast near the large city of Marseille in France. The reason why they didn't find it until 1991 is because the entrance is 37 meters or 121 feet below the current sea level so it's only accessible with scuba diving. And then once you find the entrance you must travel for 175 meters along this corridor in the cave until you reach the point of the cave that is still above the current sea level today. About 18,000 years ago the ocean levels were about 120 meters, about 400 feet lower than they are today, so there was no problem accessing the entrance to the cave then. And it turns out that people used to live there, and people used to make cave drawings there, and they found a number of cave drawings that they've been able to date back to about 18,000 to 27,000 before the present day. They actually does, did also find some additional cave drawings that may have even been younger than 18,000 years. But what we do know is as the ocean levels rose, that about 10 to 12,000 years ago, the ocean levels reached the entrance of the cave and then slowly began to inundate the entrance to it so it no longer had been accessible to people after that. So those cave drawings have not been seen for at least 10,000 years. Notice that now there's several portions of the cave that are below the sea level and therefore water has entered within them and you can no longer enter those unless you have scuba gear but in the areas that are still above the sea level today we can find all kinds of cave drawings. Now imagine that back then the climate was a lot harsher than it was today and people did enjoy going into caves for protection to stay dry and to stay warm in the winter time you could build fires in there and stay warm be protected from the predatory animals be protected from the climate and the weather and so people did exist and did live in some caves. Now it turns out that the same type of animals that were drawn in the cave of Costco were also drawn in caves around it. For example the large cave of Lascaux has uh, drawings that have very similar animals that they found here. So even though they were probably about 100-200 miles apart we can see that people made images of animals that lived within that particular period and so we can learn a lot from those cave drawings as well. But the amazing thing is that there's evidence, geological evidence and there's uh, anthropological evidence to show that people did live in areas that are now inundated by the oceans that shows that levels of the ocean have changed dramatically over the years and they have done so for natural reasons to an enormous extent. So it is indeed miraculous that we found that cave. Somebody was extremely adventurous to go down 37 meters with scuba gear, find this opening and then dare to go along that corridor. And of course they must have been extremely, extremely surprised when they actually did find those drawings once they penetrated the waterline and were above the surface of the, uh, of the ocean and they could see those amazing drawings down there. So can you believe that people lived in those places? There it is, the evidence is right before us. So those caves must have an air exit. Well, it turns out that there's always an interchange between water and air, and so you would say that there would always be um, oxygen available to the people in there. So not a problem. No, even um, before the... Oh, once, be right, before the water entered the cave, there was obviously an easy entrance for oxygen and air to come in there, so, and that's still there. Yeah, but now old. The, the water wouldn't be there if that was a quote-unquote airtight cave. Ah, do you think it would bottle up? No, because there's too much porosity in the rock and in the ground so that eventually air would, it would stabilize. It would not be something that would be keeping back the, the sea levels at all. It's not a sealed container where air cannot come out. If that was the case, then yes, you would say that there would be some pressure pushback and the ocean couldn't quite reach that high, but that would not be the case in a cave. Too much frost in the rock and ability for air to go back and forth. So Slowly. is there any cave paintings below the waterline? Yes, it turns out that they did find a number of cave paintings below the waterline. They're in kind of bad condition, but yes, they can see there's still some remnants there. Yeah.